Hey there, everybody. This is Baby Blind 1998 returns here, and guess what I got? The 1985 VHS of Dumbo. This is the third classics release, and this was a bit of an afterthought. See, known as the spine, it's the pink spine. You know, the Making Dreams Come True promotion was having it for the holidays, and he was waiting until December 3rd or something. Pretty much when this VHS came out, the packaging was kind of afterthought, and the tape master was a bit of a rush job. For the opening to this tape, has the Neon Mickey logo instead of the Classics logo. Also note that the label doesn't say Walt Disney's about Dumbo. That's kind of interesting to say the least. Print date on here is August 28, 1985. Interesting. But it's still a nice cover. There, fortunately this copy is not a former rental, but this one, this cover is not faded at all. That's pretty much good. That's a much better condition copy. That's a great condition copy. It's a nice condition copy. So, I'll show you how this tape begins in a minute. But first I want to go over the 1989 VHS. And the 1991 VHS first. Note that these uh, these artworks are the same, but different labels. But this one, on September 28th, 1989, Dumbo was reissued in the Classics line along with Premier Bambi VHS in 1989. Also, they were given new packaging. And, uh, you know, tape mastering wasn't changed from the previous version. It still had the 1984 Classics logo on it, but the label was different. And, unfortunately, with this copy, it does not open with the 1984 Classics logo. Because, this is a much later variation of the 1989 VHS. It's got the 1989 Walt Disney Classics logo. And the Buena Vista logo, which just has the music and tap. Print date is March 17th, 1992. And if you look at this small black ink text, down there it says March 15th. This is March 17th. That's two days before what it was printed. Kind of interesting. That's the most rare mix of copies I've ever had. This is the copy that VHS Gamer 99 has that copy along with some other users. Now, Owen, don't mind my brother sneezing, if you can hear it, sorry. Now, another reissue of Dumbo came about in July 12th, 1991 by the premiere of Robin Hood reissue. And same cover as the previous, but the scanning code right there is much different. But with a different tape label from stuff. And updated with the 1989 Walt Disney Classics logo. Printing out this tape is March 13th, 1993. And although this black text says March 12th, 1993. That's the day before it was printed. Let's 
here we got a business reply card. Of course, nobody wrote that on here. Also, proof of purchase. And also, all in great condition. So now I will show you what's on this tape. I think IMAX Nation 1980 showed his 19 A5 VHS of Dumbo that that has the the blue MPA screen for the film. I remember this copy. I remember it having the blue MPA screen before the film. So let's check it out. All right, we're gonna find out. My variation's a little different. All right, FBI warning. And I think Jordan Rios uploaded his video of opening VHS of Dumbo that has the Neon Mickey logo and the blue MPA screen because he got this early variation. So, and there it is. And here it is, the Boniface logo, silent. And there you go, start of film. This is how 90s VHS of Dumbo opened. And it begins with the same red FBI warnings, but just fades in and fade out fast. Rather than the 1985 one. Compared to the 1985 one. You know, which with the 1989 Walt Disney Classics logo. Instead of the Neon Mickey logo. But, no blue MPA screen, unfortunately. This screen was only used in theaters and sometimes they were carried on to VHS Masters. Here's the point of this logo. You guys can tap. That's it. Start a film. 